Things got weird again during Michael Avenatti's fraud trial today. The former celebrity lawyer is representing himself in federal court. Today, he once again cross-examined his alleged victim and ex-client, Stormy Daniels. Michael Avenatti is accused of swiping 300 grand from that former adult film actress and was supposed to get for a book deal and then repeatedly lying to her, saying that the publisher never sent her the money. Avenatti picked up where he left off yesterday, grilling Stormy Daniels about the paranormal. He asked her if years ago a dark entity entered her home through a portal. Daniels replied, that's what I was told by a medium. She also testified that she can speak with the dead and once saw the image of a woman crying over a dead child in her kitchen. Michael Avenatti has said he is completely innocent of the wire fraud and identity theft charges against him. He says he's very strongly leaning towards taking the stand himself and testifying in his own defense, but he hasn't made a final decision. NBC News legal analyst Danny Savalos is with us again tonight. Danny, another day of really odd topics discussed during this trial. Is he trying to make her look like a kook, or, or what's the legal strategy here? You took the words right out of my mouth. It's a two-pronged legal strategy, it appears. Number one, make the complainant look kooky and therefore not credible. Uh, number two, Avenatti appears to be arguing, which is a common uh, argument in criminal defense, that this is a contract case. It's not a criminal case. This is a dispute that belongs in civil court, not criminal court. She says, I owe her money. Let her sue me. Look for him to make that exact argument in closing. It now appears to be part of his theory of the case. And then, of course, also just that she's generally wacky and you shouldn't believe her, ladies and gentlemen, of the jury. You, you know, a Avenatti, he says he's considering testifying in his own defense while representing himself. I I've never seen that. It's very rare. Uh, it, it can proceed one of two ways. It can either proceed, and the judge has a ton of discretion here. The judge will either let the defendant just speak in narrative form, or he may even make the defendant question himself and then answer his own questions, even more awkward. But in all likelihood, I don't see Michael Avenatti testifying in his mind. He's effectively testified when he's cross-examined. The jury's mm -hmm. heard him speak. They've heard his theory of the case. They've heard him battle it out with people like Stormy Daniels and other witnesses. Avenatti may conclude that he's been able to do that without ever being cross-examined, and he may have gotten his story out there, he thinks, without ever having to expose himself to the crucible of cross-examination okay. from the government. No doubt. That, that makes sense. Mike, Michael Avenatti, you never know what he'll do. Danny Savalos, thank you.